You are tuning in to Living Mentally Well with Kevin Hines. Follow us as we interview some of the greatest, most influential minds and public figures in the fields of suicide prevention, entertainment, activism, mental and behavioral health. We welcome you to listen, learn, watch, and enjoy. So my name is Marianne Malkos, and I practice Nietzsche Buddhism. We chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo um, to our Buhonzon, which you can't really see right now because it's closed. Um, and I am a leader in the SGI organization, organization, which is the organization that I practice Buddhism with. Right now I'm a district leader, which means I support all nature and Buddhists who practice. I chant with them, we study Buddhism together, and we encourage each other to win through our struggles and our problems in life. It's a form of meditation. So, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo roughly translates to Nam means devotion to, Myoho means mystic law, Renge means cause and effect, and it kind of represents the lotus flower. The lotus flower is the only flower that seeds and blossoms simultaneously. So the simultaneity of cause and effect. And then kyo is to sound vibration or to voice. So we're not literally thinking of the translation when we're chanting Nami Horinye Kyo, but we believe it is in the essence of all life. That Nami Horinye Kyo is like the name of life itself. And that name exists throughout the universe. So when you chant, it's like you're channeling the name of the universe and we pray for what it is that we want to change. So I really started this journey to kind of understand a, a philosophy of happiness. And at that time, a friend of mine introduced me to this Buddhism and the philosophy made a lot of sense to me intellectually, but the actual chanting made me feel happy. Like, I would chant and I would feel joy kind of come up from my life. Like mm -hmm. I struggle a lot with anxiety, um, not so much depression, but a lot of anxiety and worry. And when I chanted, I had more confidence. I felt like, no, I chanted, it's gonna work out. And I, and I trusted that, I trusted my prayer and then things would manifest in ways that I couldn't have imagined. So because I saw that and I felt better and I started seeing proof in my life, it's just kept me continuing. So basically, in the organization, we have a mental health support group, and they meet once a month, and it's anyone struggling with mental health or family members who have people in their family that have mental health issues, they're able to come. Um, they tend to bring in speakers that are, you know, psychologists or counselors that also practice nature and Buddhism, and they study together, they study Buddhism, they chant together, they have dialogue. Um, and they talk about how this Buddhism can really help them overcome some of the challenges they're having. Actually, I have a friend who's been struggling with some serious depression, and um, I've known her for a long time, and recently she just feels like she needs to make a change, and she's willing to try something new because her depression is so heavy. And just the last week, she's come to like four different meetings, and I've actually seen her laugh and smile for the first time in years, you know? And so she's excited to join the mental health group, and she loves chanting, because it she feels lighter after she chants. So I would really encourage them to chant for their health. You know, number one, health is so important. And I would really encourage them to chant to get the help that they need. You know, Buddhism is a wonderful tool. It, it's such a great tool to become really happy. But also when you're dealing with mental health, I think what we always say in the organization is chant for the right doctor, chant for the right medication, chant for the best therapist. Get the help that you need. If someone comes to me seeking guidance and they're really suffering and struggling, the first thing I would say to them, congratulations, you have problems. <laughs> you can change them and become so happy. Yeah, That's what this Buddhism is about. And people's first reactions are like, why are you congratulating me? This is a big problem. But they start to see that, oh, I have a struggle. I could really use this Buddhism and change it. Mm -hmm. And then the hope starts to generate. And the motivation comes instead of the, like, being weighed down by problems and feeling like you're a victim of them. Oh, I have the power to change this. I can change this. And then people are motivated to, to put in the effort to do that work. 
And then when they come out from the other end, they feel this confidence. I did it. I changed it. Really, I think it's important, you know, to share with people who are depressed or suicidal that this is a way that they can really work from the inside out on their own as one other tool. This has been Living Mentally Well with Kevin Hines, brought to you by 17th and Montgomery Productions. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe below and let us know the thoughts you have in the comment section.